Welcome, Spennymoor fans and listeners. Today's very special Miners' Day National League North bout between Spennymoor Town and Alfreton Town. Both sides are aiming for promotion. Moors are in the armchair right now, playoffs-wise, in comparison to Alfreton. Moors are seven points ahead of Kidderminster in eighth, while Alfreton are eight points off Telford, with fixtures coming to an end next month. Matthew Gold in goal, and no surprises there. Scott Harrison, James Curtis, uh, centre-back partnership, Curtis captain. Jacob Hibbs slides in at right full-back uh, for Callum Williams. And Stephen Brogan remains at left full-back. Uh, and the midfield partnership of Jamie Chandler and Shane Henry. Shane Henry coming into the side. Uh, and we have Ryan Hall on the right, who's made a re-emergence. And we have Jack Diamond on the left, who's a new entry, with Lewis Hawkins number 10, uh, and Glenn Taylor up top. And We've had the Academy March. We've had the live Colliery Band playing. It, it, and there seems to be a great crowd already starting to fill the stadium up. So it's been a great day so far. And I think the thing to top this off really would be to, uh, to get three points. And we, uh, look, we need the three points. It's not time to focus on action on the pitch. Um, but off the pitch so far, it's been absolutely a brilliant day. And obviously, the sun shining, which is quite rare in Spennymoor. Southport 1 0. Uh, Bradford obviously came to the Brewfield on Tuesday and won 2 0. Uh, and they're keeping up their good form under manager Mark Boa. Uh, say Danny Clark, number seven for Alfreton so far, putting a lot of pressure on at the moment. Uh, it's a lovely play from Penny Cat there, and oh, I mean he scuffed a shot. I mean, and I've been saying scuffed, uh, but he's got a free kick here. Looks like maybe a far post late run. Um, got a few bodies. Got number four, David Lynch, who's sort of scurrying around as well. And Sin, it's gone for the shot. And it's oh, to the crossbar. And a great save from goal from here from Penny Cat. Unbelievable free kick from Sin. It Gareth Bale. Let's get the ball to the bottom. I'm trying to keep it together here. Wow. It's launched back in. And goal has been pushed over. Cleared off the line by Glenn Taylor. And what an effort that was by Gareth Bale esque. Yeah. Jack, know, Jack I'm, big, yeah. I'm not going over the top, am I? Oh, you're not exaggerating. That was a fantastic effort from. Uh, was it Sinnet? Jordan Sinnet, number 10. Brilliant effort, that. Brilliant. For me, I, I thought that was going straight in the top corner. Just bounce off the bar. But then again, if that goes in, what can you do about strikes like that? You can't really do anything at all, can you? You just kind of have to sit well, back and fair play. The best technical goal the league might have seen. I mean, possibly. possibly. Well, it's, up, it's up to debate. Yeah. <laughs> Turn from Taylor, shoots! What a goal from Glenn Taylor! Gets it from 20 yards out, turns on a sixpence and fires it towards the goal. And that, as we talk about technical quality, Taylor proves me wrong. Turning, smashing it, didn't give any time or space to defenders or the goalkeepers, Ramsbottom. Yes, Ramsbottom's been beaten by around 25 yards out there, Jack, but pretty tough. It came, came out of nowhere, didn't it? Yeah, we were just talking about the, the quality of that goal, but Glenn Taylor there does what he does best. Who else, really, apart from Glenn Taylor, when he needs that bit of uh, bit of magic, takes a great touch, spins his man, takes a shot from about 20 yards out. The keeper probably should have done better, to be honest, but it's ended up in the net, and that's all that matters for Spenny Moore. Could have caught it, punches it out, and he's lucky no one's there, and Hawkins plays back in, the heart of the ball, only a good header, and it's hit a crossbar. Shane Henry hitting the crossbar there. Lovely ball in from Hawkins, the Harlepool man. Floating it in, Henry running in aggressively as he does, heads it and it hits the crossbar and Ramsbottom, has, as we said, looks shook so far. I mean, just, just new faces, new energy, yeah. it's really, I think it's really helped the team, I think. 100%, 100% I agree, uh, I, think, I think it was needed after a couple of flat performances, but Diamond, on, who's got the ball now, just so lively. You, you can see he's really talented and he's just dribbled his way through here. No matter how many bodies on the dance floor, he always finds his way to the bar. And shot from Chandler here and he drags it. It's all. Oh, it's whiskers away from finding the net there, Jamie Chandler. And we mentioned uh, Diamond again on the left side. He's just looking ever more polished with cross it. And I've got to say, Wilde's a lot of space here inside the Moors half. And he's given it away cheaply there. And Hibbs intercepting it. And Hall here, who's had a brilliant start to this game, plays over to Hawkins, the Hartlepool man. Brings it back into Hall. Hawkins to Hall, Hall is in loads of space, he's got to go for a shot. It's a great save from Ramsbottom. But Hall is through, it 
opens up like the Red Sea, and he just can't find the back of the net there. Yeah, but look who's involved. It's Hawkins this time. The, the, it's the two new lads on, on both sides are causing havoc for Alfred and, and Ryan Hall there probably should should find him there from a tight angle, but Ramsbottom kind of making up for the, the earlier goal, which he should have really saved. But really exciting football being played by Spenny This new formation seems to be really working. And uh, Clark here heading it on to Pennycat, and he's found it, and Hibbs has just fallen to the ground, and Jacob Hibbs falls to the ground, and ball here to Sinnett, who has a chance to just slot it in the net, and he's sort of starting to fall backwards there, loses balance. The ball bobbled, I think, a tiny bit. Yeah, massive, and it's massive chance foul from the best of the year. Uh, on target, that's a goal, Jack. On target, that's a definite goal, but the, the ball was bobbling from Pennycat that came in, and it was Sinnett there, just kind of leaning back. And, and uh, a bit of ping pong here. In, in the round the Moore's box here. Hawkins diving in there. Platt evading the challenge well. After keeping the ball well here in Moore's territory, some brilliant foot from Bobby Johnson here. Plays it across. There's a chance to unload the shot here. Plays it and just over. Uh, another warning signal. Down the path of no one because Henry's there to pounce on it. And the linesman's got his flag up. And Mr. Kitchen tells him to get on with it. Clark plays a ball through here to Bacon, who's in acres of space here. And it's a good save from Gold. One and one there. Brilliant save, Jack. Great from save. Ma Matty Gold. I keeping it one there. Might have been offside. You've got the linesman who didn't look like he was in line with the player. And Mr. Kitchen refused to stop the get yeah. stop play there, Jack. And, uh, Great save by Matt Gold, though. We'll continue now because Moores are on the attack now and Diamond playing it over. Brilliantly to know, not brilliantly, and uh, danger scene as we get a breast. We get a break and Kitchen giving a thumbs up to Mr. Burrows. I'm not sure what about though. The one nil. Wars fans are starting to pipe up now. Uh, Shields heads it on to Bobby Johnson. And Henry wins it back, plays it to Hall, he's dropped deep. And the Hall turning brilliantly away, gives the ball away cheaply. Chance of Bobby Johnson playing in. Platt, Platt's turn, he's got a great chance, it has to be a penalty. And Brogan gives away the penalty. And Hall turns brilliantly, gives it cheaply away to, I believe, Bobby Johnson, who plays in Platt, and Platt then, I don't know how he does it. Yeah, he was kind of going down in slow motion there, wasn't he? Um, but Brogan looks like, he, I think you can look at the response from the Spanish <laughs> players, Brogan looks a bit dejected there. But Jordan Sinnott, who seems to be the set fist specialist here for Alfredton Town, as he marches up, and <laughs> wrong way, and that's 1-1. One, one. Spanish Town 1, Alfredton Town 1. Stephen Brogan gives away the penalty, which did seem a stonewall sort of slowly rugby tackled as he, as I believe, Platt fell to the ground. And uh, Jordan Sinnott has stepped up, the set piece specialist for Alfredton Town, the Reds. They're played forward now by Hawkins. He seems to be mastering the physics of the past this game. And uh, ball played in now by Callum Williams along the ground. Finds Hawkins again. Tooten, Chandler, the space here. Taylor, edge of the inside the box now. Taylor turns and shoots and makes it a brilliant save from Ramsbottom. Going down to the ground, strong hand. I thought that was it. I thought that was in. I mean, Glenn's done so well to work the space there and get the shot away. But I you mean, put your house on that big end. Yeah, it looked like for all the world, but a great save by Ramsbottom. Like, I'm really sharp to his right hand side. He's made amends for the for some of the sloppiness in the first half there. And the whistle is blown by Mr. Kitchen. And the final score here in this National League one bout is Spennymoor Town 1, Alfreton Town 1. The Moors' winless run continues. Uh, but it was a more positive display, especially in the first half. And I felt Hawkins and Diamond, the new signings, Definitely made an impact. But when we didn't get that second goal, I think that was the key. And you always worried the second half with kind of the lack of confidence that we've that we've kind of kind of brought upon ourselves. A recent results kind of creeped in. And you could see that Alfred were always going to get the equaliser. They could have won the game off, and they had some great chances. Matt Gold made a great save from Declan Bacon. But look, it's a point, and I think if Bradford are currently still drawn 2-2. 
then it could prove to be a really good point in terms of the playoff battle.